Om Shanti. Welcome everyone to Avikti Parivar. Today is April 26th and under the heading of Manmanabhav, we will see the world of happiness. This is the Avikti Shara. Avik signals invite the virtues of sweetness and humility. Rama Baba constantly became humble and became such a sevadhari that even he would massage the legs of the children. Children are ahead of me. Children are ahead of me. Children are good at giving lectures. So he never said first time, but ahead are children. First are children. Children are big. So this is how he took everyone. Putting himself down was not down, but actually moving ahead. Indeed, constantly taking. Now we will listen to Sister Mohini. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. This Brahmin life, everyone is very busy. Many have lokic job, a lokic seva. They have to do both. And the ones who are only on godly service, they are also very, very busy. So even whilst being busy, whatever aim I have kept for the day, even if I do little bit, two minutes, five minutes, now if I fulfill that aim, that at the end of the day, towards the night, I will feel that, oh, I did my homework, my stage is good, and some things got clarified. So for us, we had taken the homework to be loving. And our Baba is ocean of love. Today, Baba's love. Now that they say no, it is an experience of fragrance, but the fragrance cannot be seen. Similarly, Baba's children, all of us, we are walking due to that love that we experience from Baba. In the Yagya today, there are millions of brothers and sisters in the entire world who are cooperative in Baba's task. Why? because of the love for Baba that they have. So love is very incognito, I feel. Most incognito is love. So in many ways, Baba will give us teachings or whatever, you know, and um, his love. His love we experience on every step as we move ahead and that's why we become cooperative. And so I was thinking that our love also, when it becomes constant, when it becomes unconditional, when it becomes forever, then I become an image of love. And Baba's task would continue to move ahead. Because we have to have cooperation in Baba's task, right? So if anybody says that, I don't have this, this is not enough, I don't have this thing enough. Anything, you know, any brother or any sister or whatever they need at the center or whatever for the task of service. If you need something, don't have it enough. So if there is lack in the cooperation, then you cannot complain that there is a slack. But then I have to pay attention on myself and I take this as a great mantra for myself. Even a few days back, there was a huge program at some place. And um, we heard a lot of news about that program. And I know that the sister who is instrument for that place, she's very loving. And, and the one who's very loving, their behavior is very simple, very, um, very, yeah, very simple. And they always constantly try or make effort that they make everyone content, everybody 
has good wishes and everything goes on very smoothly. So in that way, unlimited service takes place. Even if little, somebody feels difference, then there is lack in giving cooperation. So what cooperation do we want? We want cooperation for Baba's task. So what is my responsibility in that? I have to become an embodiment of love. Just as they say, if somebody is a known personality and if they are known very well, then of course everybody has love for them. But if there are some that the, there are some who has never come close, who haven't become renowned in any service or hasn't come in front of the stage. But if I have love for them as well, because love is so pure and when something is pure, if it has any form of adulteration, then instantly you get to know, just as there are white clothes. If there is even a little stain, you get to know immediately. So Baba also says, children become loving, become merciful, become loving. So if there is adulteration, then there is lack. And, but so Baba is asking us to become loving, become very merciful, and we continue to stay like that. And instantly, wherever there is requirement, cooperation will come. We can't say, oh, they did a lot of publicity, and that's why they are very well. No, it is the quality of love. And so Baba, the world that he is establishing for us, and then we also become masters of that of that world of happiness, right? This is how the world of happiness is created. One time, Baba said that there are there are many who are very clever in giving lectures. They are very ahead of me. Uh, they are very understanding. But why do I get number one? Because I always give happiness to everyone. So the one who is happy inside will give happiness to the others. But if I have hold on to some hurt or sorrow inside, then I cannot give happiness to others. I cannot give them experience. Uh, so if I want that the world becomes happy, then there is one small little world within me, and there is a little world outside me, and then it comes about talking about the entire world, the big world. So I have to become an embodiment of happiness. One time, Baba said, you are children of Sukhdeva. That means the one who is bestower of happiness. So I have to give happiness to everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so whatever is the... Mm -hmm. So I have to become children. I have to become child of the bestower of happiness. If I have this attitude, then if I give love to others, if I can give cooperation to others, then definitely do, definitely give, then you will become embodiment of cooperation, uh, embodiment of happiness, and you will become instruments, you will become helpers of Baba in establishing the world of happiness. So they stay always embodiment of happiness, best words of happiness like this. Om Shanti. Manmana Bhav, world of happiness. Now you are in the world of happiness. Children of bestower of happiness, you are embodiment of happiness. You are children of the father who is the ocean of happiness. When the mind is towards the father, then there cannot be any wave of sorrow. If the mind is connected with the father, not anywhere else, but if it is connected somewhere else, then there is sorrow in the mind. Man, manabhav, 
there is no sorrow. So always attach your mind towards Baba.